Using the Note Flight Editor, Note Entry, Menus, and Palettes. When you start a Note Flight score, you get a blank four measure score ready to go. The first thing you can do is select a measure and you can automatically start entering notes. I just highlighted so you can see the little gray note head and you can just go enter notes all you want and you can click away. Now, I will say a lot of people like to point and click. It's probably the slowest way to do it. You could use your computer keyboard, my, and I'm, well, I can't lift up here, and you could just type the letter names. So I can also type C, D, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, B, C. I'm just typing the letter names and it's entering the notes. Now we haven't talked about duration yet. So I'm going to Command Z and delete all these notes now. What if I don't want a quarter note? Well, the idea behind Note Flight is enter notes as quick as possible. You have a duration option up here. So if I want that C to be a half note, now it's a half note. If I want it to be an eighth note, etc. And you can expand this option, and I'll show you these palettes in a second, to make them 32nd and 64th notes and all of that. There's also a great shortcut key, which is the bracket keys of your keyboard to the right of the P key. Left bracket makes the note smaller, the duration smaller, and right bracket makes the duration longer. And that's a really good place to be. The other thing to remember with note entry is that right above that right bracket key is the delete key on every keyboard. So your smaller duration, larger duration, delete, delete flips a note to a rest, right? So now it's a rest. And I can make these 16th rests, right? I can arrow key over, I can make these, I can change the duration of these automatically. So the idea is that your left hand is typing notes on your computer keyboard. You could also type notes on a MIDI controller. If you have a MIDI controller plugged in, because NoFlight is web-based, the MIDI controller works on Google Chrome. And you can type in notes. You have a keyboard option up on screen as well if you have a touchscreen device. So I can tap a note. That's quite a low note. Let's not do that. Let's do something right. So you can type in keyboard, you can select them like that. Um, that's way off the beaten path, let's stay out there. But the idea is that your left hand's typing notes and your right hand's doing duration and rests. And if you do that, I'm gonna type C, eighth note, D, E, F, G. Now I wanna do a 16th note run, so I'm gonna make this a 16th. I'm gonna go F, E, D, C, I'm just gonna type, and now I want that actually to be a, a quarter rest, so I'm gonna hit delete, I'm gonna use duration for a quarter rest, I'm gonna arrow over, and once you get used to this, you're just typing notation like you're typing a, a Google Doc, right? Um, the other shortcut key that's super helpful is the R key, R for repeat. And what repeat does is I'm just gonna enter a note, and let's say I wanna do a 16th note run. Repeat will repeat anything that's highlighted. So I have that 16th note G highlighted. I'll hit R, it repeats. Now, your arrow keys are your friend because you can move the arrow keys up and down. So there's a cool combination of repeat, arrow down, repeat, arrow down. And I can make a super fast score like that. Right? You can also repeat whole patterns. So you can also just click this entire measure and repeat an octave down and you can just keep it going. That's a little insane, so I'm not gonna do that. The R key is your friend. In fact, one of the fun things I like to do with students is give them some notes and patterns and tell them they have to compose something, but they can only do it by copy and pasting patterns, which helps them understand that music has patterns so I'll give them like a few starter measures and say they can write whatever they want, but they, they have to take something. So if they want this half note, they have to copy it and they have to paste it over here. It helps learn that music is patterns and copy and paste in an arrow. It's a quick way to get going, right? So here's our beautiful um, little score that we've made. So that is note entry. Now let's talk about the menus and the palettes, right? So menus and palettes, on the left you have this hamburger menu that is a technical software term. I'll actually make my whole screen one size bigger. 
And this hamburger menu will stay open. I personally keep this open at all times. I know some people like to close it. If you're on an iPad or a touchscreen device and you have screen real estate or a small Chromebook, some people like to close it to save a little space, but I have a wide screen, so I'm happy with it. Now, all of these are um, menu options. So there's a score menu, an edit menu, a duration menu, etc. Now, all of these menu options give you the ability to um, do, you know, take action on any notes. As we saw, NoteFlight's all about entering pitches first. So we enter notes, and now, let's say I want to slur this 16th note run. Well, I can go to articulation, slur, and now I've slurred these. Notice as you hover, it opens the submenus and it shows you if shortcuts are available. So when I was in articulation, it says slur and it shows the S, right? Accents the apostrophe, staccato semicolon, tenuto's colon, right? So strong accents, quotes. So it shows the shortcut keys as you go. Now notice some of these score menu, these menu items are checked. The checks indicate that they're duplicated on the top. So if I click these various menus, they will either show or hide from the top. These will give you some palettes at the top. So you and your students can actually select, and I'm just going and clicking a few because I think that's fun, which ones you want to have. So these allow you to have some shortcuts up here. Now again, if you're using NoFlight on a mobile or touchscreen device, it's a lot easier to touch those palettes, and so you want to kind of organize your palettes on top. The palettes on top and the menu here, they're they're redundant. So whether you want to hit duration as a quarter note here, or you want to go to duration and hit quarter note here, it's the same action, but it gives you a choice of each. Notice that these palettes will also expand. So to save screen real estate, by default, they show up with shorter options. But if you see the arrow, they'll extend out to more um, advanced options and you can totally choose how you want to use that. So the color palette's a really good example. We have standard colors, but you can expand out and go into classroom colors, which are the same as boom whacker colors. So if you'd like to notate music for boom whacker and you'd like to make this boom whacker classroom G, you can make this classroom G. So just a kind of heads up, that's how that works. And that is how NoteFlight has note entry, menus, and palettes.